as part of efforts to improve the transport and logistics capability of the Philippine Air Force. The service has raised a requirement for additional light lift aircraft to be procured as part of the modernization program in 2018. The additional six units of light lift aircraft with short takeoff and landing capabilities, which would allow operations from short airfields and can be utilized as a transport aircraft for cargo and people as a utility aircraft, surveillance aircraft, and other missions. In this video, we will see the light lift aircraft acquisition project. The Philippine Air Force acquired two light lift aircraft from PT Durgantara, Indonesia, as part of the light lift aircraft acquisition program from 2006 to 2012. The aircraft were ordered in 2014, but were delayed from their original delivery date of September 2015, due to changes made to the autopilot system that resulted in major requirements and reapprovals from international aviation authorities. That led to the delivery being made only by 2018. The delay placed PT Durgantara Indonesia under a five-year blacklist of the Department of National Defense Procurement System, but this was cancelled as the delivery problem was not their fault. But within that period, the Philippine Air Force was able to fully utilize its 2NC-21-2I Aviacar aircraft without any problems, resulting in the recommendation for repeat orders rather than re-tendering projects for additional aircraft. It was proposed in 2018 to procure an additional six aircraft to replace the five remaining light aircraft still operated by the Philippine Air Force in the light lift role. The announcement for the plan was made on July 2019 as part of the Philippine Air Force 72nd founding anniversary. Initial funding worth more than 372 million pesos, or around a third of the total project budget was supposed to be allocated by the Fiscal Year 2020 General Appropriations Act, but the money was realigned to the COVID-19 pandemic response by the government. It was attempted to be funded again, under the Fiscal Year 2021 and Fiscal Year 2022 but attempts failed due to numerous projects affected by the lack of funding from previous years. Currently, it was said the project is now among those to be funded by the General Appropriations Act for Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program for the fiscal year 2023, so it is now expected that a deal to be closed between the Philippines and Indonesia by 2023. 